do with it. Yeah, okay, but you got to click and stop, and then we analyze the image for like a while, and then you okay. click it and play it and stop it again. Okay, and then we okay, we're live. We're live. Oh, okay. Uh, hello. Today we will be doing a frame by frame analysis of the Grubhub ad. Uh, this ad says a lot about society, and we live in one. Uh, today I'm joined by Taco, uh, Apaco, and um, Mr. Magoo. Uh, guys, introduce yourselves. Yo, what's up? I'm uh, Taco. I'm Apaco, I guess. M name's Mr. Magoo. And uh, have you guys seen this ad? No, I actually haven't seen it. No, I haven't either. I've Oh my no, god, I, I've just seen pictures of it. It's been spamming me. It's been following me around like a specter just haunting my every like waking moment, dude. It won't stop playing on my fucking TV, my phone, you know, in my nightmares. So, you know, let's just analyze it. Let's hop right into it. Eric, the first frame? We're on the first frame. Oh. All right. I think, I think, I think we <laughs> see I okay. think we see two two different power structures right here. We yeah, see okay, so the giant giant uh, uh patriarchal uh, uh symbol in our society and we see the little man he is afraid out of his mind right yeah here we see yes. the patriarchy in play you see the father figure on the left and the child on the right and you can see the child's eyes are just horrifically wide and opened in fear um because his father the dominant figure he is afraid of as he is taught to be in society okay next frame Okay, so here you can see him slowly approaching him and uh, ordering food. Does the father ask his son what food he wants? No. It's showing the patriarchal power structure. Do you guys have anything to say about this? Yeah. This really says a lot about society. It, lot it does. Society. Yeah. Well, There's no consideration. Just, he know, just wants to feed his for family. The, for know. the other person, you know? You see, Grubhub is an app that is the pure definition of capitalism it is um an app designed for lazy people in order to charge them for things that they don't need i.e uh getting uh, somebody to deliver you food from a place that you could drive to like mcdonald's uh and here we see it in play these are not people these are soulless puppets meant to uh appeal to the masses uh you can see it in their lifeless eyes uh you can see it in how fake this chicken sandwich looks it's not it's a too realistic perfect. depiction of a chicken sandwich it's you're never gonna get perfect. a chicken sandwich like that it's too perfect yeah, yeah look, this, look at this yeah, chicken sandwich not, it's, it's, not it's plastic it's, made, it's plastic it's not real yeah, yeah, yeah. they're, they're yeah. telling yeah, you yeah, yeah yeah that that sauce there's... that's probably glue yeah that sauce yeah. is probably glue probably they're the selling... patty yeah, look, look at this man's look at this man's fingers. Just look at how man. perfectly curved they are. That's not how Jesus. real people are. Look at how shiny yeah. they are. Probably yeah, the freaking pad would probably at, be like cardboard or something. Yeah, look at those dildo fingers. They're so unreal. <laughs> 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 They're so unrealistic. You can as you can look see. How, look how polished his hands are. Yeah, he's, he's been no, like rubbing he's like no lemon polish on it. Or whatever, Vaseline or whatever. He, he has no yeah. fingernails. No fingernails. Yeah, no finger, no, no wrinkles. Oh, okay. This is very, it's very suspicious. You can something, clearly see that this up. is a puppet. A puppet meant to appeal to the masses. The most generic masses. Next next scene. Love. Like you can see here, he clicks on his phone, and almost instantly, his whole surrounding is changed into this uh, wonderful, magical land. They're selling you, what Grubhub is essentially selling you is a lie. This will never happen. Nothing this great will happen. On Grubhub, what most likely will happen is you'll order a shitty chicken sandwich from McDonald's and eat it just crying to yourself on your kitchen table as you beat your kids and your wives or something, right? You know what? You know you know what I have I question. There is no there is no mother in this figure in this picture. He's right. obviously divorced. He can't uh, cook anymore for himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did, did, or are they should not showing mothers for? It a really reason. it really shows. Look at how look how fat he is. Man. You can tell that he's not all that like fast. really smiling. That's he's probably doing a fake smile. It's a fake soulless yeah. smile. You're right. This is just a corporation trying to sell us something we don't need. Yeah. Mm. You... But and why? He's... Why don't we see a mother in here, Elijah? Could you elaborate? Like, what? Why don't you think we see a mother in this commercial? I think this is just the the modern patriarchal society that we have. Mother yeah. is mothers are seen as no, not important anymore. Right. 
Is the, do you think this app on is trying top, to replace the mother on figure? On top of that, you know, I think the mother was vegan. You know, so they, they... <laughs> <laughs> I th so I don't so, know if they have so, vegan options on Grubhub. Don't so they, they, they uh, have. Like, to... Can I just explain? Look how terrible his haircut is, like, bruh. Yeah, it's like, no, like, no. Bruh. oh man, that haircut. I just can't get over that haircut, man. No, I think the haircut is fine. What's wrong with it? <laughs> I don't know, but I, I just don't. I just don't like he has his haircut. Dude. What about his mustache? Who has a mustache like that? <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, just splits right in the middle. <laughs> big gap. There's weird. a big gap in that mustache. He's got like a pubic face. Look at that pubic Man. face here. Yeah, he has and no he chin. Can... No chin. His eyebrow all. hair is way too soft. Have he's you basically that? Like... he's just basically a blob with eyes and he's hair. Just, he basically just got a black marker and just drew it across his face. That's I his, think like, I think this app is trying to sell laziness. Because look at this, yeah. He doesn't yeah, look like he doesn't he's, look fit. He doesn't he, look he, he has no he just chin. Looks, he has look he just looks like he it's just wants neck. to go to sleep or something. Have yeah. you also noticed that he didn't ask his son what he wanted to eat, right? Like he just yeah. said, I'm deciding for you. Like um You're getting addition, a chicken sandwich. Yeah, you're getting a chicken set. And in addition to that, I think that there's not a here. Because what Grubhub is basically saying is this app can replace the patriarchal role of a mother, right? A, a role of a mother stereotyped and patriarchally placed in the kitchen to cook. But now this app is replacing the mother, so there's no more need for that. Give you dinner, right. so kid. Dinner. Oh, does he not? It's yeah, tiny. He does. It's tiny. It's very yeah, tiny. I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can kind of, you know, you know, his eyes are probably wide because they euthanized his mother in front of him for this commercial, you know. <laughs> and now he's just, uh, he has his eyes. He's, he's I think, I think he's I know traumatized. What I, I think, I think I know what happened. I what think happened? this kid just saw his father kill his mother. Oh, right in front of him. He's standing there just frozen. He's like, all right, time for dinner. Frozen, <laughs> <looking> frozen in <laughs> fear. He's just standing there. He's, 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 probably look, he's probably looking at the dead body right in front of him while the dad's just ordering his chicken sandwich yeah, from the, McDonald's the or something. Hanging, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe, the hanging he's not even looking at his dad. Look at him. He's, I know. Yeah. Like, the, the husband's not like, you know, he's just not going to go over to the dead body and just, oh my God, I'm not, oh, like, literally, he's just trying to order a chicken sandwich from McDonald's and he sees his son just literally shocked. And you can see how wide his eyes are, and I can tell that there is something wrong in this commercial. Yeah. Okay, play the also, next frame. Also, another thing. Look at those arms. <laughs> look, at those, <laughs> look at those. They're unrealistic. They're, look at they're those trying to sell arms. you. Look at those yeah, boomerang, to... boomerang arms. Like... Yeah, he doesn't have any bones in there. He's a spineless son of a bitch. He doesn't have bones. He's a he's a he's yielding to Grubhub. He doesn't have bones because he can't stand up to the big corporations. Yeah, he's like a piece. He's like a piece of clay, easily shaped by like, you know, like some, by the hands you know, of the, like, the 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 makers. You know, yeah, the ones who want society to be exactly like him. You know, do you notice how his belly curve goes right to his groin area? Right, like <laughs> his groin <laughs> is part of his belly. Oh, that's no, just, uh, that's kinda... you see, it's it's basically his belly, right? The under look, his groin is the other that. side of his, his belly. His pockets. Don't even look like pockets. They look fake. They're fake. Yeah, there's not. Oh, yeah. They've got no this, depth to them. This, they're like girl pockets. This is a metaphor for you know how society doesn't want you to have you know anything in your life. You know they want to control you. They want to they want to take everything from you. Yes. Even your pockets. Yes. And we see this symbol of innocence, and, and this innocence was just taken away from him. Moment. Oh, yeah. That is very true. Grubhub yeah. will take yeah. away. Yeah. As you notice, yeah. the background yeah. the background turns blood red. <laughs> Symbolizing from the, from the killing of his mother. That goes yeah. back to the mother killing theory. And yeah. then we'll be, we'll just, man, dude, He's, this, this, it's like in Hamlet, in um um fucking Shakespeare's Hamlet. Uh, 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 the woman who killed the uh, the king, she kept on trying to wash the bloods off of her hands because she felt guilty. But look at this stone cold son of a bitch. He's smiling as his room fills with blood. He's happy that he killed the pa uh, the the matriarch of the family, and he, now he's taking over the role of her cooking, and he's digitizing it through Grubhub. <laughs> oh, I feel because like not, I feel like I feel like he's planning to murder his son next. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he's, he's well trying. To, he's trying to comfort his son with fast food. I think that's what's happening here. Mm. Oh, I, yeah, and but uh, well, I don't think you can comfort your son when the entire room turns blood red. 
Well, he's a sociopathic killer. He has no empathy. He doesn't know what his son wants. Yeah, look at this son of a bitch. Yeah, look at like those that. eyes. Look at those like, cold look at the, like, eyes. That's the face of you just want to, like, just please don't. Yeah, you know? this, is not, this is not a man. He's a puppet. He's a sociopath, a soulless sociopath meant yeah. to sell us food, uh, shit that we don't need, a delivery service. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so okay. Oh, here, um, okay. here you can see him. Let's go back to the scene we were at. Here you can see. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I have a lot of explaining to do. Okay, here you can see him eating the chicken sandwich that he got. Here, here's another unrealistic thing about the ad. You're never gonna get a chicken sandwich that fast, and also it's never gonna look that good, right? It, they're still selling yeah. you the fakeness. Um, second of all, you can see the inhuman look in his eyes. He truly is just a puppet meant to appeal to the masses. What's wrong with his mouth? It's just a giant gaping yeah. hole. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah. Another and thing, you, he if, you even... if you look, if you look closely into the burger, you can see that the cheese is not cheese. The cheese just looks like plain glue. Yeah, I think it's mayonnaise. Well, yeah, or whatever oh, maybe. it is. Look at and that bread. It just looks solid like a solid piece of plastic yeah yeah, yeah holds a sandwich look, like that thing looks it's looks just like, like perfectly intact yeah and he's got his hands ready for like a it's almost like he's getting ready to give like a blow job right like yeah his pinky because he's giving a blow job to the big corporation his pinky finger out his, his fellow americans his pinky finger is even sticking out oh my god i didn't notice that oh my though. god yeah That's he's awesome. he, they're trying to act like this chicken sandwich from this shitty chicken sandwich from McDonald's is fancy. Yeah. <laughs> this dollar menu. And another ass. thing, he doesn't even bite into the burger. The burger is still intact. Oh, play that. Play that clip. Let's see it. See? Did oh, you? Man. Oh, let me go. Yeah, he's just, just filling up with air. He's not actually biting into it. Yeah, it just slides across yeah, his mouth. Yeah, it just slides across his mouth. Man. You see, like the corporate emptiness of it. It really represents the corporate you emptiness see that? of this commercial. You see that he's not even biting into the. Burger. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think he, it looks like he's. I don't think he's biting the burger. He's just like just closing his mouth to think. Th to think it's in his mouth, but in reality, there's literally nothing in his mouth. Just a puff of air in his mouth. Do you think he's trying to trick himself? Do you think he's trying to trick himself into thinking that he's happy after he's killed his wife? Do you think this represents? His false notion of happiness after he's gotten rid of his wife and replaced her with a Grubhub bat. Yes. You know what? I have another theory. What is it? I think I think he's pretending to eat this chicken sandwich in front of his kid because he poisoned it, and I think he's gonna give it to his kid right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> that is. So he's going after his kid next after having brutally murdered his wife in front of his child. Yes, and I think I think he's pretending to eat to make it no, seem like it's I think, okay. I think he's, he's gonna true, give it to his kid next. He doesn't take a solid bite, does he? Nope. Yeah. I think once yeah. he's done with the kid, he's just gonna like he's just gonna like find somebody, get married again, and like kill the whole family all over again, you know? He's like he's targeting the all the all the all the woke, you know, people in society. So all you're the, saying all like the the woke he families. Has, his position as the patriarch is killing um the other members of the structure. Yeah. His his, his the other head. members that don't fit with the agenda. Mm. And don't meet the quo, the status quo. People that it... threaten his position, I think. Yeah. yeah. You guys good with this, or you guys want to go to the next one? Let's go, Let's go to the next one. one. Okay. Okay, here oh. we can see him dancing, right? <laughs> his body moves like <laughs> it moves in an unnatural way. Back to the scene that we were at. It helps prove that he is a boneless son of a bitch. He he doesn't have a single bone in his body. And human... now, now they fake the bite in the sandwich. Oh yeah, there is there is a bite hole in the sandwich. Hmm. So oh, how does that go for the poison theory Meaning, that uh, Pakalapagan was? He he already positive. gave he already gave the sandwich to his son, and now he's eating the unpoisoned sandwich. Hmm. Huh? Yeah, I think I think that's a that's a that's a good supporting argument right so you can see the way he bends it's not human like he doesn't have bones he's he's a puppet meant to be bent by grubhub to sell us this mass appeal app where underpaid workers uh, deliver you a mick mick chicken off the dollar menu for pennies oh so you can board yourself at home and feel better about having brutally murdered your wife in front of your son um
<laughs> anything else? Uh, you guys see anything else in this? One more um, he's thing. Di- he's, he's, Look- he's, he's, he's basically spaghetti. Mm. This is true. His 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 whole like molecular structure is just rubber. Like and if, you, if you if you if you go back to the way he's dancing, you can tell that there's there's not a single bone in his body. Right. Yeah. Like he's just yeah. a mass of rubber and spaghetti. Right? Yeah. yeah. Also, one more thing. Look at those socks and sandals. Oh. Oh my <laughs> Good god. god. Yeah, they are horrible. Good. Oh my god. god. Jesus. Good fucking god. It looks terrible. Is that, are those Birkenstocks? What, what, what are those called? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think they're just, oh, Crocs or whatever they're called? Yeah. Good god. Okay, let's go to the next scene. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, did if it did you guys, up. It did if it you guys. Up. There, he bag in a very unnatural way because. He's trying to like like who the fuck holds a bag like this, right? Who the fuck holds a bag like this? He's holding it in an unnatural way so that you can see the logo because this it's 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 unrealistic. It's a it's a it's a they're they're trying to push this propaganda down your throats. Yeah, and if you notice, yeah. Grubhub backwards is Baburg. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah, and actually, Grubhub is an uh, anagram for uh, Satan. Uh, yeah, don't search Beelze- that up. Beelzebub? Yeah, don't look it up. Do don't not, look that up. No, but not, it's true. Grubhub is an anagram for Satan, right? Yeah. And yeah, so, yeah. really, if you're Bur- a Christian and you're watching this right now, uh, uh, um, Bu- Buberg, uh, Beelzebub, you see the difference? You, you see the similarities? You see, yeah. Grubhub is the devil. This do not eat from Grubhub. Um, if you do, if you do, <laughs> douse some holy water on your food. Yeah. yeah, or just, even, pray, even just pray to salt. God that add you salt. don't get poisoned. No, holy I think salt. what they're also like, like Grubhub doesn't have their own food. They don't make food. This is just they, they poison the food of other businesses that are trying to do actual good in society. So they that... poison it by by having by exploiting the workers that they uh, 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 have deliver it through this gi- false gig economy, um, in which um, um, the worker works hard. And produces value, surplus value, but Grubhub takes that surplus value for themselves and only distributes pennies to the worker, uh, who's a, a, a shittily paid person. Also, another thing, he has two front pockets that are not the same size. Yeah, uh, it fucking looks oh. stupid. Oh. His yeah, shirt why, is why is this? Why is this shirt like two different colors? One on each side. Oh this yeah, fashion, this whole fashion, fashion sense, sense, sense is yeah, I know. terrible. I know. All right, you, yeah, you want to move on now? Yeah. Oh my God, I can stretch. Jesus Christ, you can see oh, the, the love handles creasing. Okay, here we uh, see two more people. Okay. Now, if we're going with the just brutally murdered his wife in front of his son theorem, these are probably uh, the, the representations of his guilt, right? These are. These are manifestations of a psyche haunting him for the horrible crime that he's done. Uh, who would this man represent then? Uh, the, the man on the left. left. The, the one on the left, left represents, represents his guilt for killing his wife. Yeah. Uh, his past uh, the self one on the... before his past self before you know Grubhub got to him. You know, the one on the right is his wife, um, wife spirit haunting him from beyond the grave. Yeah, and they're trying to force feed him sushi. You know, they try, of, yeah, they're trying the to guilt. force the sushi represents his guilt. They're trying to force feed him back his sushi, his yeah. raw guilt. His and raw look guilt. At the, yes. Look at that his Grubhub raw fish, logo. His raw guilt. Look at that Grubhub yeah. logo on that phone. It looks so satanic. Look at that. Just, just look at how he holds it. Look at how this 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 puppet of the corporate system just holds it like this uh, in a uh, completely unnatural position. But it seems natural to the viewer that you can see the Grubhub logo. Yeah, that would slip out of his hands if he was looking like that. Yeah, Yeah, and he would break his back and... uh, My god, look at those Shrek ears. Where? (laughs) (laughs) Oh oh, oh, man, just the logo looks... It's just so basic. My god. If you look at the sushi, it's just plain plastic. That is true, that is true. Yeah, and Um, she doesn't even have any ears. Yeah. Oh yeah, his wife doesn't have ears. What the fuck? Oh man, 
she's going away. Berries do you see the Do you see the shit eating grin on grin on that woman? You know, for all we know, she could be um messing up her pants right now, just shitting and coming and <laughs> pissing. <laughs> Just like oh. she's, just like her husband soiled her soul. Yeah, and look at him in the she background. Soiled her pants. It looks like he's, <laughs> look, it looks just like, like her husband soiled her soul. She's soiling her pants. The guy in the background <laughs> looks like he's possessed by Satan. <laughs> oh, like a sa satanic ritual or something. Yeah. Oh, oh, guys! I just noticed that the Grubhub logo kind of looks like a six, right? If you yeah. rearrange the H a little, you know, if you squint a little, the H also looks like a six. Six. <laughs> Six and guess what? His body is sort of in the shape of a six. Oh, six, six, six. <laughs> the uh, devil. The devil. Grubhub is the devil. Beelzebub. Yeah. All right, moving on. You can see him consuming <laughs> his guilt. Um, uh, uh, they presented him an option to redeem himself morally, but he decided to keep on dancing in the background like a spaghetti noodle. So they decided to <laughs> swallow it. Uh, just like he's swallowing his, just like he's swallowing his emotions. Uh, you got, you guys got anything to add? All, um, all, all this does is repress his emotions deep down. Yes. Now they've both got shit eating grins on their faces. Look at that. Okay. Can I say something? Yeah, sure. Look at the guy's ear on the left. That is a perfect oval of the right. ear, like right there. He what do you think it represents? Just... It represents. Oof. You know how easy you know. it is to get in their heads. You know to get in the heads of like society. You need the to consumer. protect yourself. Yes, the consumer. Protect yourselves. Wear your tinfoil hats so they can't get in. Right. Grubhub uh, has Grubhub uh, has um, eerily fucked him. Right. <laughs> 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 they have jizzed their propaganda into this man's brain through his ears. And his yeah. ears are left shaped like that from the horrible fucking that they've done to him. <laughs> he, must have, he must have gone surgery on that ear just to make it like an oval shape. He's like, yeah. can I go? And as you can see, the woman has no ears because nobody listens to a woman. They just, they just like cut her ear off and stuff. Another She's example like... of, of our patriarchal society. Yes, yeah. she, yeah. this woman, she has her ears cut off. Well, the man doesn't. She's forced to swallow his guilt while he dances in the background, not caring. So you guys, you guys good on this? Or do you want to move? Yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry, here we go. More, here. more victims. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at dude. his arm. Look at those legs. Oh my Jesus god. Christ! Oh. oh my god! These are unnaturally shaped. Is that, um, is that a salad? Salad? Oh, God. Yeah, the, let's salad. talk about how perfect that salad is. That salad is way too perfect looking. Obviously, this woman is a vegan, which I think this man preys on. He, this is his <laughs> previous wife, the one before. The, uh, and this, and he killed this one before before his this last uh, this last murder. This was before. Elijah, Elijah, or Apocalypticon. What if he is a bisexual, and these are all of his former lovers that he's killed? Do you, do you see that? A guy, I, I, a woman, a woman? I see that. It's I possible. See, Very see. possible. Yeah. You can see. he's and Maybe his kid isn't even real. You know, who the fuck knows that? It's a figment of his imagination, you know. Maybe these are all just spirits haunting him from the horrible, brutal skeletons that he's got in his closet. The kid uh, as you can see, their arms bend and her legs bend in a natural way. Her knee bends in a natural way. Obviously, these people are not... They're not human. Anymore. They're not they, human they, anymore. They're not human anymore. They they've ascended to another realm. Um, this is the ravings of a maniac who's seen the spirits of his guilt uh, come back and haunt him with the food, the food of what he could have been because he can't achieve it anymore due to the brutal murders and the guilt that he's faced. Uh, you guys got got anything else to add? That salad looks. Is literally plastic. Just they just wanted to like organize all the plastic together just to make us look like that's a really good salad. Mm. Yeah. Also, who the fuck orders also, a salad on Grubhub? Also, uh, I know. Yeah, I mean, unless you're ve like... unless you're vegan, then yeah, I understand. But like, but even then, like, make your it's so my... easy to make a salad. Like, 
Come on. Yeah, it's so easy to make a salad. Well, I, mean, I like, know. Like, like, that's just that's so fucking lazy. stupid. That's so lazy. <laughs> also, uh, the salad, uh, the way they organize a salad to make it look perfect is also a representation of how they uh, want society to look in their eyes. Yeah, it's a representation of how fake this all is. It's yes. none of it's real. They're trying to sell you an ideal that you can't achieve. If you order a salad from Grubhub, it's gonna be like all leaking into the bag, and it's gonna be, oh it's gonna have like the juices of the Grubhub uh, uh, delivery guy. Uh, it's they're selling you an unrealistic unre oh ideal that you can never achieve. Would you just look at those McDonald's logo legs right there? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, it's just... wait, 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 don't as you can see, right. her right. legs are bending in a natural way as she's being right. crushed by the weight of the patriarchy on top of her. Yeah. While also, she's holding the sushi. Is she? Yeah. Oh, she is. Oh, man. As she's being That's crushed right. by the weight of all the pressure from Grubhub that try that pushes that... She She's just, like, holding the guilt, waiting to... Wait, did she it's just again. eat the sushi? How did it come back? How, yeah, oh, how did it come back? Oh, she regurgitated. Yeah, was, yeah. regurgitated, regurgitated the guilt. It. Yeah, and look at this. This woman, she also has a shit-eating grin on her face. She's also probably pissing and shitting and coming in her <laughs> pants, right? <laughs> soiling them, just like Grubhub has soiled these uh, people. The soiling them, people. just like the murderer. The, the murderer at the beginning has soiled their lives. <laughs> I'm going to have to leave right now. Oh, I yeah. Let's oh see the, the analysis later. Jesus right. Christ. <laughs> oh, this face. Okay. Jeez. Okay. That Wait, face I have to is go, like. I have to go back a few frames. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna need to go back frames. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Wait. Whoa, okay, let's just stop here and analyze it. Let's just stop here and analyze it. Okay, okay. Look at her. Uh, you guys got anything to say? Let me formulate this. I gotta Jesus. think about this. Look at a gator or something? Look at that. She's possessed by the devil. I mean, I know, that's so she's like, like satanic ritual over here. Yeah. She's gobbling this food she's gobbling in a realistic way. Yes, she's gobbling the salad. The salad represents society and how Grubhub is just. <laughs> it's just consuming society Whoa. she's look at this okay first of all in the scene before this she shit and piss and cum <laughs> in her pants right she's excreting <laughs> she's she's literally excreting and intaking excreting and intaking uh this is a commentary by grubhub on the futility of on life fu you you don't exist for anything other than eating and shitting and pissing and coming and then you die that's what grubhub is telling you you are nothing but a, 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 a shit producing bag and then you die so you better might as well shovel in our <laughs> shitty salads that a delivery man ordered you hmm. yeah you guys got anything else to say nope let's just continue yeah whoa <laughs> here you can see her um <clears throat> <sighs> you get... <sighs> what do we say about this? I don't fucking. <laughs> uh, I have nothing to say. I don't say. think I want to say anything about this. Here, just keep... Oh. You can see her fake smile. You can see the dead eyes. Oh, yeah, you can see the pain. The pain behind that fake face. You know. Right. If we bring this back to. Help. If you if we bring this back to former lover theory, we can assume that. The point of view that we're seeing isn't the point of view from us as somebody watching a. Are you eating something? <laughs> what? You're one of them, Mr. Magoo. Are you are you eating something you ordered from Grubhub? No. Um. <laughs> okay. I we can see. You. We can assume that in fact we are looking at the point of view of the murderer. Right. This is her his past lover haunting him with a smile on her face, the smile that she had when she still trusted him before he brutally murdered her. Uh, this could have been the last uh, scene of her life. This could have been the last thing he saw of her before he bludgeoned her head with a with a, with a pickaxe with a, or whatever With a Grubhub bag. Yeah, with a Grubhub bag. Full of that mm. fake plastic food that weighs like 10 million pounds. 
Yeah, and look at her, look at look at her. Look She's at, using a plastic fork to eat a look, salad. Who the fuck uses the, a plastic? Oh my the, god! Look at the diamonds in the background. You know. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. They're, They're projected. Pretty, They're fake. Yeah, it's fake. Oh and yeah, I know. Like if you if you look closer, you can see like a beam, like in the background. You can yeah, see like a beam of light. light. Beam. You can right. see, yeah, they, yeah, they are projected. It's right, supposed, it's fake. It's supposed it's to symbolize. You this... It's supposed to symbolize, you know. A, a perfect society, you know, with lots of prosperity. But as you can see, the beam of lights are supposed to represent, you know, a ray of hope. But it's a false hope, projected right. by Grubhub. Right. It's uh, you've got diamonds in the background representing happiness, but even within their commercial, they can't give you real diamonds. You'll never be able to achieve this ideal. It's a false. Uh, you're like a cat pawing at a laser beam, yeah. right? You're trying to get this ideal where you're you'll order food from Grubhub and you'll be uh, happy and you'll be like noodle dancing in a room, but you'll never ach actually be able to achieve that because at the end of the day, you're just ordering a shitty mixed chicken from the dollar menu. Yeah, yeah. Or you're just buying something from the dollar store. Yeah. All right. Well, let's continue. Man. Soullessly. <laughs> Oh, oh okay. my god, that leg. <laughs> um, that is... Okay. She looks Blue pregnant. That, Why does she look pregnant? Say. She, uh, yeah, sure. Her belly is extremely extended. Oh, she is. Okay. She, what so, so she's pregnant. You know what? Let's say this. Let's say this. Right. If we're going off of lover theory, this could have been one of his past lovers who uh, uh, yes. he murdered while she was still pregnant with a before, child. Before, before the birth of the child, yes. Yeah, before the birth of the child. This could represent she her slurping on a slurpee or a, a smoothie or a milkshake could represent how she was never able to uh, fucking uh, <laughs> lactate. And... <laughs> how, how she was never able to lactate and actually give a mother's milk to a baby because she was put out of her misery before her prime. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. You can, uh... I'm not gonna say anything. I don't know. You guys got any analysis of this? I, I nope. honestly nope. don't have any analysis. Nope. Look at her hand over to the right. You know, she's doing a hand you... sign, which represents a, the symbolism of Satan. <laughs> Satan. Yeah, she's doing devil horns. Look at that. Yeah. She's doing devil horns. <laughs> just another just, just another proof that uh, Grubhub is Beelzebub backwards. Yeah. And the don't, way don't she's holding, the way she's holding that, yeah, that, don't search that it cup, up. it's just not, it's not natural, you know. Yes, and if we look at the title of the video, "Delivery Dance," if we spell "Delivery Dance" backwards, we get "I am Satan," right? Don't don't think about it. Um, everything in this commercial is pointing towards the fact that this man made a deal with the devil. Um, he 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 is not going to heaven, right? He's he's murdered all of these people all of these former lovers and he's taken his place out of heaven he is now with satan he is satan's agent yes yes uh oh, he... <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh okay here, here we can see her legs bending in an unnatural way yes. uh, presumably this is how he killed her he he first killed her he started breaking her legs in an unnatural <laughs> <laughs> breaking them, popping them from the joints. If you're and in now, and now her spirit is stuck with these uh, broken joints. Broken in addition to that, you can see legs. some wind blowing her hair back in an unrealistic unreal way. Once again, uh, we can assume that uh, Grubhub is selling you an ideal you'll never get. Uh, you guys got as, anything? As the cup, you know. If you're sticks... ever in that position, you're tearing a muscle inside of your leg. I'm just saying. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's... Definitely true. Yeah, you, you have fun with have fun recovering. Taco, you got anything to say? And the way the cup is just unnaturally sticking to your hand, you know, that symbolizes right you know, how yeah. and if you, look at that cup. Like look a at that. It's like a parasite that's just right. sticking to you it's like, and just eating, man. consuming you, just you know, consuming without your, your consent. Yeah, right. And look at that cup. It's shaped perfectly, right? It's a perfect scoop. 
right? It's it's perfect in every way. It's got perfect streaks of chocolate. It's got perfect drizzle of chocolate on you know, top. It, chocolate. It, it represents the perfect motherhood that she could have had through but, uh, lactating through you know, for her yeah, child. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, if, you, but not, if you look closely, if you look at the, the chocolate. The, if you look at the bottom of the cup, you can see like. Oh, the chocolate is mixed up on yeah, the bottom. Yeah, it looks slightly right. red, so it's probably you know the curdled yeah. and like she's, cooked. She's basically blood. drinking the like the blood, the of bone the... marrow of like, right. you know. Yes, and if we go back to shitting, pissing, and coming theory, this could be the bottom could represent the piss, and the white top could represent the cum, right? <laughs> <laughs> and we all know we all know what the chocolate represents. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Alright. Alright, moving on. Oh god. Here um we we uh <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, okay, when did her when did her face Wait, get like I have so to, big I, and chubby? Go... Oh my god. Well what 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 are we seeing here, boy? What are we seeing here? We, um, we see... her okay, um her face just got more chubbier. And, it's uh, really low low res if you look at it. It's because of all the but like she almost looks like a Barbie doll, like Grubhub. Yeah. It's not the cup. It looks like dirt. The cup looks like a ghostly figure of dirt. Right. It's all brown now. It's uh, sh her shit has overpowered cum. Right. Shit has overpowered cum in all of their pants. <laughs> this is probably what it's representing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh God. Fact of the matter: If you shit and cum in your pants, the shit is gonna be way messy. <laughs> messy. <laughs> um. Um. Here you can see her uh, soulless, lifeless eyes. They're a bit out of focus. Uh, her look at her Voldemort look at ass lips. Throws crusty, oh my god, dusty. Voldemort two point oh right there. Look at those crusty lips. The fact of the matter is. She's not living. She's a corpse. Yeah, she's this, dead. This, this is her rotting corpse after uh, she was killed before she could give birth to uh, the patriarch's child. Uh, her, her, her her body began rotting, and you can see the moisture leaving her lips. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. Uh, and ad nauseum. I don't, I don't know if we can add anything to this. Yeah. Okay, so she just... Uh, okay, all right, all right. Okay. So uh, now, oh God, look he's at been these. haunted. He's been visited by every one of his <laughs> former lovers. Ooh, look at his eyes, how they're staring. <laughs> he still I... lusts for his former lover, as you yeah, can see. Yeah, but the thing is, what happened to his son? That is true, that is true. Is his that son is even true. alive? We his have son, to consider that. His son is probably dead at this point after eating that poison sandwich. Chicken sandwich, yeah, it's sun dead theory, isn't God. it? God, and look at the lady on the left. Look at how she's standing. Oh, it looks man. like she, that's not how like, you stand. Looks like her body is possessed. By Have no you guys one. noticed this? Okay, so here's what I say with bisexual theory, right? That these are his former lovers and he's a bisexual. Uh, the the um uh the blue shirted guy in the um fucking uh, uh <laughs> the skinny jeans. Skinny jeans woman. I, I don't know how to describe them. The, um, the, 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 the sushi couple. The sushi they shit. appeared at the same time, right? They appeared at the same time. Every other person who's come in has appeared one at a time. At so a time. this might suggest that he was in a, um, what you might call it, poly, polyamorous? I think so, yeah. He was in a polyamorous relationship. Uh, and, and they're haunting him as a pair because that's how they were murdered by him. These two he had afterwards as singular relationships. Yes. Well, you want to move on? Well, do you guys want to talk about how the Grubhub bag has changed? Yeah. You know, you can. Oh, yeah. yeah Wait, we it can, was GH, can... right? Before? Was it like GH? No, that was on the phone. That was on the phone. Oh. Phone. But like the Grubhub bag used to be in the blue shirted guy's hands, and, and now yeah. it's in the orange lady. Teleportation so, now. So Teleportation. It, it, it just shows, you know, how Grubhub is like just spreading through society you know and now wait if person. you guys look at the lady on the right she's still holding the sushi even though it was in her mouth yeah so and right. the other guy yeah. too yeah. right they're holding on to this ideal the guy they're with the skinny jeans yeah right the, the 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 sushi it's an ideal isn't it it's an idealized sushi they're holding on to a false ideal because they truly believe that grubhub can bring them this happiness they can but it's not true it can't 
And, and once again, you see the fake diamonds in the background. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the projected diamonds. And you can see the beam of light in the background, too. Right. Yeah. You'll false, never be this happy. That's what hope. Grubhub is... Yeah. They're, they're trying light. to sell you. They're trying to tell you you can be this happy, but even they have to uh, admit, secretly, you can never be this happy. Uh, Taco, what do you have to say? Yeah. The Also, I just want to point out, are those socks? Or are those on shoes? Who? On the On the Asian lady with the... Actually, I don't know. No. Oh, yeah. She's not wearing any the socks. The pregnant, the pregnant, yeah. Are those socks or those shoes? I'm not sure. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Let's note that down for future theories. <laughs> uh, here you can see them swaying their hips in. Oh, my. Right? You Look at him. He's look at that. That's the face of a man who's coming right now. <laughs> yes, this is true. He is just releasing everything from his body. Like, look, at, look at this. There's so many it's necrophilia. That's what we're missing from the puzzle. These are all. They're My not. They're God. not. He's imagining their bodies as alive, but he's still got the dead bodies around him. That's why the sons were like this at the beginning of the commercial. He was looking at his dad to file these dead, dead bodies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, no. Dead bodies oh, before he no. just bef and then he decided, you know what? Woo! And uh, how that was a good exercise. I gotta get a snack after that. <laughs> and notice how the diamonds are shining on his body. You know? Oh yeah. See, but in the beginning we thought they were everyone's gonna think they're real diamonds, but when they get to the end of the commercial you can see the projector is just on his the projector of the diamonds just on his chest. Right, he's yeah. he's got it into the symbol, ideal. He's, yeah. His heart is, you know, like possessed by this ideal, this false hmm. ray of hope, this false ray of hope. You know. Right. This this um he truly does believe that these dead bodies are alive that he's defiling. He truly does believe that he's done everything right, and he truly does believe in this false ideal that Grubhub is selling us. While secretly the guilt eats away at him. You know, right, he, yeah, as you, if you move it forward, I'm sure the, the ideal will move away because he can't keep on convincing himself of this lie. Yeah. There we go. It's gone. Oh. Look at that. Oh Look at that. God. Look at that. Look at that. Do you Back see to that? where yeah. we started. Right when the diamonds left his shirt, that's when the, his heart area, that's when the, uh, vision this idealized world went away and he was forced back into the reality where he's in a room full of bodies with shit and piss and cum and all over the place he's he's okay. they're, they're they're defiled bodies and his son is just staring at him in horror as as what he's done yeah feeding him uh, the poison. i'm gonna have to leave right now okay see you all right, all right see you if you just feeding him the poison you know the poison sandwiches why also why are there so many you know Maybe he maybe he still believes his wife is alive, and so that's yeah, why maybe he, he yeah maybe he believes his former lovers are alive. Yeah, that's why he bought so many. Right, he's still he's still stuck in this vision. And again, we can see the grub, grub hug bag, but this time right. look at the top. Look at how those are like teeth, you know, waiting to like eat the hands that you know try to reach inside of it. Right. And the thing is, like, the Grubhub bag, it changed positions, like, multiple times. It was originally yeah. in his hands. Again, it? again, symbolizing how it's spreading out through society from person to person, you know, whether they know it or not. Right. Uh, you can see his son just, hor you know, hor horrifically in eating shock. the sandwich. He's not in happy. Shock. Yeah, no. The patriarch is forcing him and to look, eat the poison look at sandwich. His ears, his ears are also much like the Shrek guys. No way, I wouldn't say that. The Shrek guy's ears were way more. Actually, they were way more tubular, but. Yeah. I mean, like, if Grubhub, like, eerily f <laughs> fucked him, I mean, they would they would have had, like, the. Uh, whatever. Well, let's not talk about that. Yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh? Get the food. Here at the end, you can see his son. Oh taking the sandwich and joining the other bodies, right? He's gotten into the spirit realm again, right? He's with the spirit realm of them. Yes. 
He's joined his visions. Who knows what they're doing? Bro, look at him. He's enjoying his son is enjoying himself way too much right now. <laughs> Go back to the ending. Let's see that. Grubhub is taking over his life. Look at that. His son is enjoying himself way too much right now. He he has joined the others. He is shitting and pissing and coming just like the others, right? Uh, you got anything to add? Honestly, no. <laughs> <laughs> what you said sums it up right there. Yeah, so um, shitting and pissing and coming and necrophilia theory about the Grubhub ad. Um, uh, this is our thesis on it. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's cool. it. Uh, thanks for watching, I guess. Um, I think uh, we really proved something today. You know, I think we did, too. Yeah, any we final need, thoughts, we need to We need to wake the people up, you know? Yeah. Wake up. Grubhub is a menace to our society. Wake up, sheeple. Wake up. And in addition to that, we need to realize that Grubhub is a stupid fucking idea. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, just drive to McDonald's, dog. Like... Or just yeah. walk. Stop being stop being lazy. Stop being lazy. Yeah, I mean, if you can afford Grubhub, you can probably afford a car. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just go, dude. Just <laughs> get yourself a McDonald's sandwich or sushi by yourself. Oh, I also, I, I, I mean, Grubhub was just like, it, it's, it's reinforcing Gen Z being fucking introverts you know yeah that's true yeah like uh, you know there's so much there's already such a big introvert problem within gen z like dog go outside go outside, fucking go get man. sushi yeah talk to somebody please talk to somebody yeah <laughs> talk to a cashier don't end up a weirdo yeah don't end up a hermit you know grubhub don't let grubhub take over your life um yeah yeah. Uh, so that was Grubhub shitting, pissing, coming necrophilia theory. Um, this man is a monster right here. Um, am I pointing the right way? No. Is, uh, this man right here yeah. is a. Is this? Right way? There you go. There you go. This man is a monster. Um, and thank you for watching our student thesis. Thank you and goodbye. Yeah. Subscribe. <laughs>